Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you a pretty cool accessory for the DJI Gen 2 controller that allows you to securely mount a larger tablet up to 14 and a half centimeters wide directly on the controller. Now, if you're like me, you probably started flying using your phone because you've got it with you every day. It's really easy to connect up and it just works pretty well. But over time, you're probably gonna start thinking, boy, that's a tiny screen. I need some bigger screen real estate so I can really see what I'm capturing on my video footage and my pictures. So you're gonna start searching for a tablet. Now, a lot of folks out there immediately go to a gigantic tablet, like a 10 inch tablet. And what you'll find is, yeah, you get a lot more screen real estate, but it's hard to see it in the sun. It's top heavy on the controller. It's a pain in the neck to mount. You need longer cables. So you'll probably back off to a smaller tablet like this. Now I've settled on the iPad mini four and five. I also use the Nvidia Shield and I love the triple tech, which is about the same size as the iPad mini. The challenge is it's hard to mount that on the controller. Now, when we had the Gen 1 controller, which came out with the Mavic Pro, this was a brilliant design. They actually built a controller that folded up tiny like this, so it was almost pocket size. But once you flip it out, you can see that there's a mounting on the bottom of it. And it was really designed to handle phones. Any of the larger phones that are on the market at the time, and even still, can fit in there without a problem. If you've got a really thick case on it, maybe you've got to do some modifications to the arms, but you essentially slid your phone in there, connected it up to the cable, and you're off and running. Now, the challenge with that was, boy, I really wish I could get a tablet in there. So when the Mavic Pro first came out, we spent a lot of time taking the controller apart, testing it with different tablet adapters, and lo and behold, we figured out pretty quickly that you could actually slide an iPad mini into the bottom of it. So it's almost like DJI built this to hold an iPad mini 4 at the time. They even cut little slots in the arms, and that's kind of what clued us in to the fact that we could slide a tablet inside there. So we were off with the Gen 1 controller, flying with the iPad minis 4s and 5s, and it works just great. We just love it. The challenge was they came out with a brand new Gen 2 controller. And this started with the Air 2 and the Air 2S and the Mini 2. And it's a great controller. I love the new design of it. It's very easy in the hands. It's easy to hold. But the challenge is now the phone mounts above it and they only give you nine centimeters of width here, which is fine for a phone. So even the modern phones that are really, really wide and big will fit in there no problem, but there's no way you're gonna shoehorn a tablet in there without using an adapter. So we started testing a lot of different accessories. Now, obviously I can use a standard tablet adapter to hold it in there, but then I've got to deal with this big contraption that I've got to assemble and it's hanging over top of the controller and it's top heavy, and that's just not something I'm looking for. So we were looking for an adapter that would snap on the controller and allow us to put larger tablets on it. And we tested probably six or seven different models that are on the market. And my challenge with most of them was that they were built out of plastic, which means they're flimsy. I'm worried about in the warm weather, they're gonna start bending and flexing. But the bigger concern I had was most of the extenders we saw clamped in here somehow and shot up this way. Now, if you think about that from a physics perspective, what you're doing is pushing down on these delicate arms that hold the antennas. So over time, I'm thinking if you jam a big tablet into one of those extenders, and push down over time, it's gonna bend those down and you're gonna have a hard time putting it back in the controller. So those scared the bejesus out of me. So I said, look, let's sit down. We can design something that's durable, that's small, that's effective, that's easy to use and doesn't take 20 minutes to set it up on the controller. And that's exactly what this Drone Valley tablet extender is. Now, I have talked about this before on the channel and some of the clips, but I've had so many questions about it recently, I thought I'd spend a little bit more time and talk about it specifically. So we sat down and designed something that was small. It's certainly small. We wanted it to be durable, so it's made out of aluminum. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna bend or break on you. Uh, it's really easy to use, and we built in a lot of protections for your tablet as well. So there's rubber surfaces here, there's rubber up top, there's even rubber on the back here when you slide it into the antenna posts on the back. But the beautiful part about this is by snapping this on the controller, you now extend that top part from nine centimeters to 14 and a half centimeters. So all the tablets I talked about a minute ago will slide in here and held securely on the unit. Let me show you how easy it is to use. So essentially what you do is extend the antenna up like this, and on the back of the unit, you'll see a little pivot right here. You spin that so it's parallel with the unit. You drop this in between the two antennas, and on the back, you just spin this to lock it in place, and you're good to go, and that's it. That's all it takes. Wouldn't that take 15 seconds to do that? And then when you're ready to use your tablet, I'll start with the iPad, you basically lay it in like that, extend it up, and you're good to go. And that is in there securely. That's not going anywhere. It's not popping out. You can even use this with regular phones that maybe have a little larger case. If you're using an NVIDIA Shield, again, same thing. Put it in the top, slide it up, and it's stuck in there. You're good to go. 
Now, I use the Triple Tech tablet a lot as well. This one's a little bit more of a challenge because it's heavier, but it's incredibly good out in the bright sunlight, so I love using it. But that thickness will actually fit in here as well. Now, it's not as secure as the iPad Mini 4, but if you put it in there, it'll hold it for sure. Just don't go shaking it because it may pop out because of that extra space in the case. We're also working on an adapter for this one specifically, but for now, this one's going to work just fine. But it'll hold the Triple Tech with no problems. So when you're done for the day, it's just as easy to take it back off. You basically spin that, it pops out of the controller, you can spin it back, throw it in your bag, and you're done for the day. And again, what we like so much about this design, which took us quite a while to get together, is that it's durable, it's, it's portable, it's small enough where it can slide in any bag, you can slide it in your pocket. It'll handle a wide variety of tablets, again, up to 14 and a half centimeters wide. And there's no shenanigans putting something together because a lot of the other solutions we saw, it came with an instruction manual that showed you the 15 steps it took to actually bolt something together to snap it on the controller. For me, I'm all about simple. I'm all about cost effective. I want something that's gonna last a long time and not be a hassle that I need some kind of rocket scientist degree to put together. This kind of ticks all those boxes. So that's pretty much all I had for today. Uh, we have plenty of these around. If you're interested in the product, I've got a link below where you can find it. Um, again, we stand behind everything we sell. We design this product ourselves. We're really proud of it. If you have any problems or questions down the road, we'll be here for you. And we can get it to you faster than Amazon. So if you hit the link below, go to our website. It's an exclusive product that we have because it was designed by the team here at Drone Valley. And we'll get it out to you right away. So thanks a lot for watching. Any questions about this or anything else I've talked about, drop those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And until next time, <laughs> Happy flying.